three things that you could do to lower your blood pressure, especially before a physical. So if you have a doctor's appointment and you know the exact time that you're gonna have the physical, these are some uh, suggestions that you can try. So let's just get into number one. Number one is to combat white coat syndrome. White coat syndrome is a situation where you get nervous and anxious when you go to the doctor's office and your blood pressure goes a lot higher. So the doctor naturally thinks you have high blood pressure and starts prescribing different medications for that blood pressure. But actually, during the normal course of your day, when you check your blood pressure at home, the blood pressure is totally normal. So you start taking the medications and then you start getting dizzy, you feel faint, you could possibly fall. And the reason this occurs is because you really don't have high blood pressure. It was just artificially high at the doctor's office. So how do you combat that? You could do deep breathing, slow, controlled, deep breathing. And there's many different ways of doing it. You could try out different ways. The simplest way that I have found that's easy for people to do is to simply breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And when you breathe in through the nose, you try to breathe as deeply as you humanly can. So you're going to fill up your belly, fill up your chest, really expand your rib cage to get as much air into your lungs as possible. And then when you let the air out, just let the air out as naturally as you possibly can, as if the air is coming out of a balloon. So you inhale with the nose and let the air out. You repeat this for about five minutes. Now, you're not hyperventilating. You're not breathing fast. You're breathing in a slow, controlled, relaxed fashion. To try to relax yourself, this does two things. Number one, it stimulates your parasympathetic nervous system, which will help you keep calm. This part of your nervous system controls the dilation of the blood vessels uh, neurologically. So the more relaxed you are, the more pliable your blood vessels are. The second thing is it will stimulate nitric oxide production. This is a gas inside our blood vessels that is produced and will help dilate and relax the blood vessels as well. That's why deep breathing works. The second thing that you can do is you can have a glass of beetroot juice prior to going to your doctor's appointment. Now you need to drink the beetroot juice uh, about three to four hours prior to the doctor's appointment. The reason why is because it can take that long for the nitrates to be produced into nitric oxide. Beetroot juice has been found to lower blood pressure in studies where they follow people that drink eight ounces of beetroot juice for a period of time and it does significantly lower the blood pressure over the long term. However, even just one glass of beetroot juice can lower your blood pressure within three hours and then maintain that for about 24. The third and final thing that you can do is prior to your doctor's appointment that morning is to go and exercise. There's a couple reasons why exercise works so well. Number one, it reduces stress for some people. Number two, your body will produce nitric oxide as a result of the exercise. And research has shown that when you do exercise, it can have a relaxing effect on your body and keep the arteries more pliable and dilated, and that will last for about 24 hours. So if you have a doctor's appointment in the middle part of the day, if you exercise in the morning, you could do calisthenics, you could do rowing, you could do an elliptical, you could do um, a treadmill, you can walk, you can jog, anything that's cardiovascular. Weightlifting will not have as much of an effect as cardiovascular exercise, and that's why you would wanna do that in the morning. Any exercise will do, it just has to be cardiovascular. So you get your heart rate up and get those blood vessels opening through the nitric oxide development that happens when you exercise. I've been in practice for 28 years. I help people holistically. At the end of the video, I have a free video on the right-hand side, so just hang tight for it. And it'll give you a complete guide to naturally lowering your blood pressure without medication. And this is a great video. I put a lot of effort into it. It is long, so make sure and take notes because it gives you lots of ideas of how to naturally lower your blood pressure so that you can be healthier and get off medication. If you would like to consult me, we do have a website. It's down in the description down below. 
you can call us. We do consultations over the phone as well as Zoom. There's a fee for it, so just call and ask, or you can go and look on the website. We also, on this channel, have a members-only uh, section, so if you'd like to become a member, there's links on the bottom of the video where you can become a member. There's three tiers for it. You get different benefits with each tier, so I do appreciate it if you can support the channel. And lastly, if you have any questions or comments in regard to the three things I've mentioned, let us know down in the comment section down below.